Okay, I can just turn it down just a little. Maybe he won't be that loud.
choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Insurance Syndicate. Marty, can you hear me, dude? I can. I, I love that video, by the way. I'm, I'm probably one of the few guys. I definitely am. I, I had that TV as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's not many. Most people on here probably think that's just like some made up thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, dude, I appreciate you getting on, man. And uh, everybody in Syndicate, of course, good morning. And this is live to whoever, however many are watching it now. But what's cool, Marty, is this, this group that... Um, they've put together between Joe and Tony, there's, I don't know, I think they're pushing 6,000 people. So the video will stay in the group. So That's people awesome. continue to watch it throughout the day, throughout the week, whatever. Some, some will, some won't. Um, so one, I appreciate you, appreciate you getting on and, uh, and spending some time with us. For those that don't know, it's Marty Schaefer, I believe the correct titles, chief distribution officer for ethos. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. And if I did, you'll correct me because it won't be the first thing I've messed up or the last. <laughs> no, you and, uh, it. I, I love it dude and uh, it's been fun getting to know you guys you personally but you guys as a company and and the cool things you guys are doing to help us help agents help clients um you know and the more this industry goes towards technology it dude it's wild obviously you've been in the business a while yeah you know? and uh, it's wild to see how it's changed in the 10 years i've been in it so i'm i'm looking forward to some of the cool stuff that's that's coming down the pipeline um but I would love you to give um, little, you know, what's what, what the reason I had you on, obviously I want, I want to be able to help you guys share what you guys are doing to the industry. Sure. But I think a lot of people need to know it. But the biggest reason, dude, as we were talking offline, I'm like, you've been through it. You've been through some cool stuff in this industry, you know? And I, and I, I think I know a lot of new agents, man, when they get involved in this industry, they don't see the potential that this industry can bring in many, many different ways. You know, and I'm starting to learn, kind of getting some behind the curtains views of the different ways to make money, the relationships, the business opportunities that, that are available in the industry. And you've done some really cool stuff. So I, I, I'm excited to hear more about that, man. Um, so we'd love to hear a little bit about how you started and, and kind of how you've navigated this thing. Because you've built some cool stuff, had yeah. been involved in selling companies, building them. So I, give, us, give us a little background, dude. Yeah, the, uh, you know, I used to be the young guy. But, uh, you know, what, what I've, I've hey, I'm moved. going through that transition now. It's really weird. <laughs> you know, it's an, it, first off, um, you know, I want to thank everybody who's taken time to, to listen to us, you know, talk about this business. This business has changed my life. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I uh, you know, you, you had asked, you know, to tell a little bit about my background. And I think for agents who, who are spending the time to, to, to listen to people who are, who have been in the industry to learn about the industry, you need to know that there is another side. Like people see people who are really, really successful and they think, man, I, you know, how do I get to that point? And there's no, number one, there's no easy way to get to that point. And, yeah. and, 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 and that's why there's such a, a large fail rate in our industry is, you know, it really takes, um, you know, more than anything, amazing habits, commitment and conviction in a, in a, in a core belief that there is no plan B to get through this business. And I experienced that, John. I mean, I, you know, my background in the industry, I was a producer my first year in the business. Um, you know, I, I, I was, 
you know, I still am married, but I, at the time I was married, I had two kids, I had a house payment and I was a, a, a teacher making 16, five a year. And, and as a retired athlete, I never thought, you know, I'd take a pay cut um, from a sport that really didn't pay well, but I did. And I had these, these really heavy expectations financially as a parent that, um, you know, were really, really difficult to navigate. And, and in the midst of that, I was like, there's got to be a better way. Like, and I, I happened to get introduced to as many of the people who are watching today, I got introduced to somebody who introduced me to somebody. And next thing I knew, I, I was driving to a bungalow in Cleveland, Ohio to try and sell life insurance to somebody. And I was like, what the hell, how did I get here? Um, and that, that, you know, in 1997, 98, that was with Prudential. And at the time, you know, I, I was a young man, I had no natural market and I was calling on at the time, these orphaned leads. So, so the original leads of, of old were orphaned policyholders from a carrier. And so you had, you know, you really had no relationship. You were driving out into the home and you were basically just saying, hey, I'm here to help you with your current policy and try and uncover additional, additional needs. Um, and what I quickly learned was that was not easy. Yeah. Like, like people would be pissed. You know, something went wrong. You became their customer service rep. But what I also realized is that if you really were, were serious about your craft and you trained, you know, and, and you were, were uh, you know, you, were, you, you listened really well and you were coachable, that you could, you could start to stack some successes together, right? And so I went from a completely new agent in 1998, 1997-98. I ended up being the, the NAFA Rookie of the Year for the city of Cleveland. I was in yeah, my first year in the business. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's million dollar round table. It's the top three or four percent in the industry. Um, and I was hooked, right? Uh, now it didn't get easier year two, year three, year four, but I knew more. It, yeah. it, it, and I was committed to um, the process and it changed my life economically, it changed the trajectory of my family's life forever, right, John? Um, I have a question. Yeah. I have, and I'm sorry, I'll do this because I get curious and I just oh, I love stuff. It. My staff had dinner with me last night and I, we, I got, I went down a rabbit hole of questions about like, were oyster, was it oysters, clam, whatever it was. And they're <laughs> like, what? I'm like, dude, I just get curious and ask questions. So yeah. I apologize. How did it go? So you said it was hard at the beginning, obviously, you know, agents complain about leads. I'm like, imagine leads that they already have the policy. Good, go, go get those. <laughs> yeah. But how, how, how was that? Like, would you, would you change that? went from hard to million dollar round tape. Like what, what so would, you, number, would you implement? The, the number one thing that my, my mentor in the business, who, who yeah. he's currently, he's the godfather of my youngest child. He's one of my best, best friends. I mean, he ended yeah. up running a third of the United States for Peru. He's, he's since retired, had an amazing career. Yeah. But what Pete taught me was uh, it's a numbers game, yeah. right? If you make enough calls, if you go see enough people, if you kiss enough frogs, you're going to get really successful. Yep. And, and, and I was just, you know, I was a retired athlete. So, so when you, when you understand like putting in the work, yeah. good things happen like that. It was really that simple for me. And yeah. so I just knew if I met this many people a week, um, I was going to make, I was going to make sales. And the other thing that he taught me, so there were two things you got to be really active you got to be ruthless in, in activity. And if Friday night, uh, and it was a different environment then, but, but if, if by Friday night you didn't have your appointments stacked for the next week, you came in Saturday. Yep. And, and if Saturday, you know, so I, would, I was pulling my two uh, children into the Prudential office on Saturday mornings. I threw them into the, you know, conference room and I dialed, you know, and I was like, I got to get 10 appointments right. for next week. Yep. And so, so what, that enabled me to do was not worry about like, you know, did I have a great week? Did I have a bad week? I just handled the process. Yeah. And, 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 and he taught me something really early on. He said, people fail, systems don't. People yeah. fail, systems don't. Create good habits around systems. You will make more money than you ever dreamed of. And it's, it's true. It's turned out to be true. Yeah, I agree. I, you know, I always, I always say the people quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the systems are definitely there, dude, everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, th th there's a reason, there's a reason that 1% of the people in our country make all the money. Yes, sir. Right? It's because it, it's because it takes extraordinary yeah. focus, 
persistency, commitment um, to achieve that, right? And that's rare. I so I know at some point, and I, again, I want to kind of, how, how did the transition happen? Because at some point you obviously were involved in building, yeah, scaling, scaling a company, yeah. like the whole company, not just like an agency. Yeah. You know I mean, like how that, how that, how did you get there? Yeah. So it was interesting. So tell uh, them what you sold or built. And then yeah. I want to hear like how you got there. Yeah. Yeah. So I was a producer for about five years. And then yeah. what carriers do is if you're a good seller, they pull half your brain out and make you a manager, <laughs> um, which is what you do now. But no, I'm kidding. But what I loved sure. building was I love, I love being a coach. So I wanted to take what I had been taught and coach other people to do it and, and transform like that created a creative model for me where I could, I could not only, impact lives myself but if i hired a team of 20 30 folks i could have i could impact thousands of people yeah. and still make good money and so i ended up going into management and then in 05 i got an opportunity a carrier called me um at the time phoenix life to build a you know to come over to the what we call the wholesaling side for a carrier and so i made a decision to leave retail and, and yeah. get into the carrier side because i really had a passion for life insurance i, I had paid some death claims and I really believed that this was the greatest financial instrument that the world had ever created. Yeah. And so I was like, I really want to be good at that. And, and so I joined Phoenix at the time and I ended up having a very successful management career. You know, we had an exclusive with state farm. So we sold life insurance to the state farm agents, clients. And, and so that went really, really well to about Oh nine. And then um, the financial crisis hit. So, so this is another really important point. I think everybody should hear any recession is an opportunity for, for like mass wealth. Yeah. Any recession, yeah. any, any complexity, um, when you're comfortable, get really nervous. And, and when you're stressed and things are struggling and it's hard, really amazing things come out of that. Yeah. And so in 2009, our company was, went from an A-rated carrier to a B-rated carrier. And every, every financial institution that we did business with, John, kept, cut us off. We, we were, we were in runoff mode. Yep. And at the time, you know, we got our leadership team together and we were like, what are we going to do? We've got like, a, you know, all these hundreds of employees and I'll, I'll give you the cliff notes version. We ended up forming a distribution company called Sabres Partners. Yep. And so we hired a, a four, four hire army of salespeople to go out and help financial professionals add life insurance to their business. Um, that became wildly successful. We ended up working with Edward Jones and, and Wells Fargo and, and building an annuity business. And, and that, that company was sold uh, to Amerilife, uh, I think last year, um, for a lot of money. Right. So, uh, so you know, that the hesitation that, said a lot. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so that was the second startup I had done. Right. So startup number one was being an agent, being a manager. Startup number two was building a distribution company. Okay. Um, that company still exists today. They're, they're, they're amazing people. Some of my closest friends and it was, it was incredible. Um, and then I left, left Sabrist to, to go run us distribution for Hancock. And, and yeah. so that role was like a quantum leap into kind of the executive world of, 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 you know, top five insurance carrier distribution. I did that for a few years. And, and, and as I started to get into this point in my career, um, you know, I really love building things, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and, and I loved, I loved the energy of 09, 10, 11, and 12 of us like kind of being scrappy and figuring it out and having everybody tell you that it won't work. Every mm -hmm. agent on this call, if you listen to people who will tell you what won't work, like, like that is such an easy path to get sucked into. Yeah. Um, and, and those are the, those are the other 99%. Like, so, sure. so don't, I mean, my wife is in education. I love her. She's like, I call her my fixed bond portfolio um, because there's no risk there. I mean, she, she is, she does more. She's an amazing steward for our society, but, but there's no risk there. It's easy yeah. Yeah. Uh, relative to risk. Um, but I wanted that kind of juice. I wanted to build something again. And the other thing that, that I was really um, focused on as I look at the, the back half of my career is is it's not been easy for consumers to, to ingest this product, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, back in the nineties, you know, I would write a policy it would take eight to 12, 15 weeks for it before it was put in force. Right. And, and back then, John, like imagine like doing all that work, filling out a 40 page app, having them go through the medical for 12 weeks and then they get declined. 
Yeah. Like, holy crap, like that sucks, right? Like I did all that work. I thought the money was spent, right? And then, and then, and then it doesn't go through. And, and so the, that was really important to me is how is the industry evolving and how can I be a part of that? And then the other thing is, you know, there are too many consumers that nobody will call because they're not worth it, right? And so, you know, I grew up with four siblings. My dad was a welder, you know, nobody would have ever called, nobody ever called on us, our yeah. family. I mean, thankfully nothing ever happened to my mom or dad. I, you know, thank God they're, they're doing well still. And, but if anything would have hap happened to Paul, like my wife, my mom, like in our kids, we would have been, we would have been in real trouble. Yeah. So I also wanted to be a part of a company that democratized the acquisition of insurance, made it easy for folks to, to ingest and, and get our product. And ethos has, has filled that void. And that's what I'm focused on building now. Yeah. Three, four months to get an approval. Yeah, it was to, crazy. You don't even have to speak to someone and it's approved in minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, 12 minutes, you can own a policy and, and, and pull it off of a QR code. I mean, that's insane to me. It is nuts. It is nuts. The only thing I have, this is more just me. So you, the, the, the guys you built at uh, with Savers, I bet you can look back and see how the relationship started from a, like, if you connect a couple of like weird dots that, but you never saw coming. Yeah. Um, so. And I say that cause like, I, I try to be intentional in the business. Joe's great at it. Tony's great at it. We try to like build relationships now. And I go like some really cool stuff is going to happen between some of us that none of us see coming yet. Yeah. You know, everybody's life is made up of moments. Yeah. Right. And so probably the first moment to your point was when we all pulled the team together, we, we met in the, the, the corporate offices in Midtown Manhattan and we were like whiteboarding the ideas. Yep. And, and uh, I jokingly always tell people it's like a couple cases of beer later, like we came up with the idea. Right. And, yeah. and when you have that, you know, team of really, really intellectually rigorous people yeah. and, and, and they're, their willingness to not accept failure and, and, a, and a passion and persistency and pursuit, like really good things happen. We had all those factors in that room. Yeah. And, and even when we launched the company, the carriers that we were representing were like, we're not sure this is going to work. Right. So these are companies that we had gotten an exclusive represent in a couple of really big financial institutions. They're like, yeah. we're not sure this is going to work. And, and, uh, but what we had at the time is we had a couple amazing uh, salespeople who kind of paved the path, right? And so, you know, you guys have that, right? You've got people that have paved the path to show people this is this will work, this is how it will work, uh, and this is why it's of value. Um, and so we had, all, we had all those dyna dynamic factors. And so people who would join the company, John, like five, six years later, when it was like humming, yeah. you know, they didn't know what they didn't know. Right. It's yeah. just, it's amazing. We're going through that now, dude. Obviously you're learning more about uh, our background, but I, dude, I remember the start of this thing at FFL, bro. It was the first few years. We weren't sure it was going to work. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, but we were going at it like it was, but we deep down, we really weren't sure, you know, and thankfully, obviously things, things turned out really well, but it's, and when people come in now, I'm like, man, I wish I could like bring people back and like, Show them, let them feel what it was like um, to, to kind of go through that stage. But now yeah. the, the, you, the thing, I think you appreciated a ton going through that. Oh yeah, the, the thing that's beautiful about your business model is you've obviously gone through that cycle. The mm -hmm. entity has gone through that cycle and is, is incredibly scaled. Yeah. But there are agents going through that exact maturation process inside your organization. So like you have correct hundreds of people going through that cycle themselves yeah. and, and, uh, and you know, what will enable them to succeed or not. Right. right? And, and so, um, it's really cool to watch. Yeah. I always just say, we, I get the luxury of looking backwards. So my lens is clearer today yeah. because going through it. And I always want people, man, that are listening, watching that we speak to. I want, I want the biggest feeling for them to go, dang, I can do that too. I'm on the right path. This is normal. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it, it comes, you know, yeah. you gotta... yeah. the other thing is it's not complicated. 
That is true. Like, 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 like people try and complicate this. Like, yeah. Oh, the, the leads are bad. The, yeah. the leads aren't bad, right? Like, you know, the, the, the carrier didn't treat me right. Or I had this problem, right? I mean, it, like you can't have a victim's mindset and win. Like, like that is the, one of the greatest truths in life, right? Like, like yeah. victim mindset is, is the greatest fast track to failure you can have. Sure. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I love yeah. it. Well, let's get into, let's get into what y'all do today, man. Um, you know, there's, a, there's a lot of people and I always tell everybody in this that comes in this, that there's a lot of people from a lot of different lines of insurance, all kinds of different organizations, companies, products, whatever. Sure. Um, you know, but I, I really am, have enjoyed learning what you guys do and add to the market. It, it's new and it's, yeah. it's pretty cool. So talk, talk a little bit about what you guys got going on and maybe how it can sure. help folks that are watching, man. So what I think, what, you know, you know, why I was so excited to join ethos again, to, to the, to the point around building things is everybody has said that this, this can't work. Right. So that's yeah. actually, that's like a proof point for me that it probably will. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and the second thing is I noticed that innovative people that I respected thought it could work. So that was like, ha, huh, okay, now I'm on to something. So what is Ethos? So, so we're, well, the genesis of our company is we were founded by a couple of folks out of Stanford who wanted to build a tech, they wanted to build a, a, a tech leveraged uh, tool that democratized life insurance acquisition so that we could insure the next million Americans. Mm -hmm. So that's the North Star of the company. So how did we do that? We started it as a D to C company. So, you know, Everybody who's watching, I'm sure, has heard of Ethos because we we are we are very widely known in terms in social media and, and we're very successful as a D2C business. Um, but we quickly expanded. We realized, um, and that's why they hired me, that the way to really accelerate the business is to is to create amazing partnerships. Um, but what are we? So we're an instant issue, multi-carrier platform on a on a multi-million dollar portal that every person who's watching here today, if they're licensed, um, can take advantage of. Um, you know, obviously for you, we would we would be very happy if they partnered with FFL to do that. Uh, you're one of our best partners, if not our best partner. Um, but what happens for a consumer that we solve is no waiting. So like they can go into this application flow and we've built proprietary products with A-rated carriers that, that we've built this V1 was just one product, but current stack is seven products. So a consumer comes in there and the agents can assist with this too. Uh, but the consumer goes in there and they just start answering questions. And we've built a, a, a 300,000 data point underwriting engine proprietary to us with these carriers that takes people to the right product. So instead of an agent having to shop this or try and figure out what the right amount is um, or how healthy they are or they aren't, um, they can virtually add this to their business to just build accretive uh, sales. Um, and so, you know, we have a 90, the other, the other key element that, that, that this buy box, as I call it, creates, John, is, is a 90 plus percent approval rate. Yeah. So, you know, if somebody's super unhealthy, they're going to get a guaranteed issue and they should have gotten that. And that's probably what they would have gotten if you just spent, you know, two hours with them sitting. Uh, if they're healthy, they can get up to $2 million of instant issue, 20, 30 year term. Um, and so, you know, that, that ability to, to monetize, uh, sales, uh, is the value that we create. And the thing that I always remind agents of is this is not in created to eliminate what you currently do. The value an agent meeting with a consumer and, and doing, you know, deep planning with them is still very, very necessary. Uh, but this enables you to, instead of insuring four or five people a week, to insure 20 people a week, yep. right? Um, okay. So the ability to accelerate your business, like if I'd have had this in 1998 and I could have gone and met eight to 10 consumers a week, John, and sent the hyperlink out to 200 consumers a week um, who I had already either met with or I'd already done business with or I'd been mm -hmm. referred to or like I would have been top of the table my first year in the business. Yeah. Right. So, so our ability to add an accelerant to your current business and how you operate in a frictionless way um, is, is like nothing I've ever seen in my 20 plus years. That's insane, dude. I didn't know the, I didn't know the numbers, the stats like that. 90, you said 90% get approved, like issue. 
issue like and it takes like 12 minutes right like without knowing anything so like meaning people that don't even i have a, i talk to a lot of people obviously and a lot of people in even different lines of the industry they're like ah, i don't know nothing about i don't want to mess with life because i don't know a b or c same reason i don't want to mess with their stuff so i'm like yeah. ah, i don't know anything about <laughs> right yeah. you literally don't have to know anything today no, except where, where your link is or your qr code yeah i mean what's interesting we have we have some non-traditional insurance people who sell our products. So there's probably some PNC agents watching today. It's a great example. You know, people have to buy home and auto for the most part, right? To, to, yeah. For your lender and for, for the state. Um, I mean, we see PNC agents just attaching this every time they bring in a new home and auto. Yeah. And, you know, if they get two or 3% attachment rates, they're adding significant revenue to their business. Yeah. Doing nothing, right? Like, it's, it's unbelievable. Hey, Ron, what's Joe's question? I can't see what Joe asked. You don't have to put it up because I don't know if it's anybody. I see him asking me something. John, you should show, the, oh, to show the portal. Yeah. Interesting. How would that work? Is that something you can do? I don't know how to do none of that. Uh, I would be the last guy you'd want to do. <laughs> hey, between me and you, bro, Joe, there's no way we're doing it, dude. Yeah, if we had it's the not, cool It's not happening. If we had the other cool Marty who you know uh, on... <laughs> That cool Marty could, uh, yeah. He hey, could. we'll do another round with him one day. We'll, we'll show a portal. Right. Sorry, Joe, we can't do it, bro. Yeah, but the port, I mean, look, the portal, we spent millions of dollars on the portal. It's a great, it's a great point to bring up. Like, yeah. so every person who's on this, this uh, video today, if you're a licensed agent, you know, you, you can have access to this portal, right? And, yeah. and uh, obviously through FFL uh, as well. Uh, but that portal enables you to, there's marketing materials in there. You can, we, we built um, email templates. Um, you can send out quotes there. You can send yeah. out your URL. So like every unique agent has their own URL. Um, you can create a QR code, put that QR code on the bumper sticker of your car. Anybody hits yeah. it, they can buy life insurance in 12 minutes. So the portal is, is a, is a, I mean, we spent tens of millions of dollars, John, everybody can build their own individual agency inside that portal. Uh, and the reason that's so important is our product set is not stagnant. So this is a bit of a future statement, but when we go into 2023, agents are going to have access to, to permanent products in there. Like there, there's going to be some pretty cool things that I can't talk about in detail today, but this is going to get even more and more interesting and it's going to be available to some of our most select partners. Yeah. I like hearing about, I get, obviously Zach is heavily involved with you guys. Yeah. So I get, I get little previews. I'm like, this is cool. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I like seeing the way the industry is going, you know, yeah. it's, it's fun. It's fun to be part of the journey and, and, and where we're at today. And if anybody has questions, I, I obviously Ron, I can't see all those questions. So if anybody has any questions, put them in. If they're good, we'll show them. If they're not, we won't. Um, but if, oh, I was just going to ask this. That's funny, Ryan. Like if someone, I don't know what the process is, dude. If, if someone wants to reach out, do you want to give yeah. your info? How do you, how do you want them to navigate if they, if they would just yeah, want so to? Yeah, so they, you know, so obviously you're with FFL. Yeah. So if they want to get appointed through FFL, they would go through you all. They would become part of FFL. But the, the appointment process is simple. If you're a licensed agent, you can go to ethos. I think it's ethos.agents.com. Um, and literally you could be selling in 10 minutes. You literally go on there, you set up your portal, uh, and we do just-in-time appointments. So once somebody sells, assuming your licenses are all up to speed, NPNs and all that stuff is entered in, um, you sell a policy. And let's say that it happens to be an LGA banner sale. Uh, we do just-in-time appointment, um, and you get appointed you know, at the point of sale. Can you see that question? I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily want to get crazy deep into, but well, again, if they want to, yeah, I'll be honest. I don't know how my staff does all this. So I'm like, I, if someone wanted to get contracted with me, I wouldn't even know that I'd be like, I don't know, DM me. I'll give it to Amanda. They'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah. So, so we, we but, set up for FFL specifically, cause that's the question, right, John? Yeah. Yeah. When we did the deal with Sean, we immediately set up portals for F every FFL agent. That's right. Yeah. 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 So you should, your upline should have a, you know, they should be contracted in, in, in. So I have a link. We send it. Yeah. That's how they do it. So, so we oh. have all of the FFL hierarchy already done. Yeah. Um, and so that. And the answer to that person is yes. They you have someone here. They have a portal. Just get with them. You can get contracted, et cetera. If you not, 
you yeah. want to do it with us, hit me up. If you want to do it direct, y'all know I don't care. I'm good with whatever. Yeah, and if, and if you're currently with FFL, account. all you have to do is go into the portal, enter in your information. It's going to prompt you to set up a new password, and they are live. They are rolling. Yeah. I, I was in Zach's office. They can be selling today. They could be selling today. I was in <laughs> Zach's office about a month ago. Yeah. And uh, there were a bunch of younger guys in the lobby, and I was just kind of BSing with them. And, and this guy's like, well, what do you mean I have a portal? And I said, let's go to your laptop. And so he pulls up his laptop. He goes to the Ethos portal uh, login, and he had a portal. He's like, I can't believe this. Like, I, I said, yeah, man, you can start selling, like, now. That's crazy. Yeah. This is nuts, dude. I love it. Are there any, any, any questions in there that we want to put up? If not, I'm going to let him. Uh, cool. I'm going to let you end marty with i always um again this is tactical thursday and you've given a lot of stuff people can implement today but i always go like give them something that they could aside from <laughs> the answer is go get contracted and sell today <laughs> but give them just from the, from the point of you know anyone out there you, you work with a lot of agents obviously especially over the course of your career yep but i like to give people dude i want people to walk away and go i can do that today and and, and make money anything anything you can think of that you can add yeah. to people would be would be great I think two things, you know, not knowing everybody who's watching today, but two yeah. things I would leave you with. Number one, um, every one of us, every person has people that we know in our inner circle of 100 to 200 people who don't own the right amount or any life insurance. And I've had people in my circle die um, yeah. that I didn't do the right thing because I was embarrassed. This removes that. So, so do yourself a favor and, and set, if get appointed with Ethos or somebody and make sure that everybody you care about knows what you do and, and sell them life insurance. Because if you don't, um, you'll, you'll never forgive yourself. And I've, I've gone through that, number one. Yeah. Number two, if you happen to buy leads as part of your, your operating model, one of the most sophisticated ways to monetize unsold leads is through a platform like ours. Yeah. So agent buys 50 leads, sells seven policies, they're high-fiving themselves, they made all their money back, and they and then some. Why not sell those other 43 leads over the weekend by sending the URL with yeah. Ethos and insuring more people? I mean, how awesome would it be to double your revenue with that investment in your business? Yeah. Um, yeah. That ability to accelerate your, your, your business is what we provide. Um, that is what I'm so excited about. Yeah. We, we have agents, <clears throat> I've seen a bunch of messages in some of the groups we're in that are just like texting leads, they haven't got a hold of for the week, making a couple extra sales, much less yeah. someone that has a database. Imagine someone has a database, dude. You know how many people we, I could text? To? I, should, I should send out my link to all the <laughs> clients we've had over the years. Yeah, I mean, you got you to gotta be careful yeah. with do not call lists, so just as a side note. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's powerful. And I think Ryan asked the question, we're in 49 states. New York is a nightmare. Um, we're working that. on it, but we're in all, 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 all the other important states. Yeah, that's right. All the ones that matter. That's right. Sorry, New Yorkers. Yeah. <laughs> I get but, people call me all the time from there. I'm like, dude, I don't, it's, it's miserable. I don't know. We don't do it. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough. You know, the, 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 you know, the last thing I would say is, is don't quit before the miracle happens, right? For all those agents who are newer in the business, right. um, just make one more call. Like it sounds so barbaric and simple. But it's worked. I mean, yeah. I've seen grocers make 400 grand a year, you know, um, and there's, you know, you just have to keep keep grinding. Yeah. Hey, and that, that don't matter what industry you're in. Doesn't already, matter. You know? Yeah. Those, those principles remain true everywhere. So it's like you may as well get used to it. Exactly. I've seen Doesn't people leave mean. here and go somewhere else and where they don't put in the, the work and they still don't have success. I'm like. Exactly. The well, geographic yeah. cure does not work. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. Well, Marty, I appreciate your time today, dude. I know you got a, Always. a, a, a ton to do. So appreciate you spending some time with us. I'm sure I will definitely see you soon. And I uh, hope everybody here in Syndicate has an awesome day. Implement some stuff. And I always like to hear if someone goes out and does something that he says, you post back. Let us know. We like I like hearing about it. And yeah. you can you can hit either one of us online. We're not hard to find. And yeah. um I'll, I'll put a, I'll put, I'll get my staff to put the link in if, if y'all want to do something. But again, he's, it's, it's not hard to figure out how to find either one of us. So. Absolutely. Appreciate you, John. Appreciate it, dude. Y'all have a good day. Bye, brother. See you guys. See you guys.